The Three Little Pigs. Adapted from the golden book, Richard Scarry's Animal Nursery Tales. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs with very big plans. Mother, it's time for us to seek our fortunes. I'm gonna be a famous comedian. <laughs> I'm going to be a movie star. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, how I worry about you boys. But Gilbert, what about you? Now, Mother, don't you worry. I'm going to build a fine farm just down the road. Piglets, remember that big bad wolf. So they kissed their mother goodbye and started on their separate ways. As Hamilton skipped along, he met... A farmer with a load of straw. That's the perfect thing for a snazzy, jazzy house. Did you say a house? Who ever heard of a straw house? Ah, that won't keep a wolf away. <laughs> It'll do. You'll see. Sure enough, the straw house went up in a jiffy. I'm not afraid of the big bad wolf. He won't scare me at all. <laughs> not bad. Nearby, a certain crafty fellow was taking a stroll. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to eat, and I'm not hungry for something sweet. The dinner dish that I like most is tasty, tender, piggy roast. Mm -hmm. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. <laughs> Hamilton ran into the deep, dark forest to hide. That same day, Robert had met a woodcutter. Those sticks would make a spiffy, nifty house. I hear the wolf makes short work of houses like that, son. But suit yourself. You may have this bundle. And so, in no time at all, Robert's house was built. Hey, hey, hey. Maybe I should be a carpenter. I'm not afraid of the big bad wolf. He won't eat me at all. Who do you think came slinking along? Mm hmm, it's time for me to eat, and I'm not hungry for something sweet. My favorite dinner, to be true, is tasty, juicy piggy stew. <laughs> little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, Wolfie. And I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in! <laughs> and Robert ran into the deep, dark forest to hide. Now, Gilbert had met someone, too. A bricklayer. Quite right, young man. Kind sir, may I have some bricks to build my sturdy house, please? Take what you need. So Gilbert set about to build a solid brick house. I'm not afraid of the big bad wolf. He can't hurt me at all. And of course, sneaky as ever, along came... I'm so hungry, even my stomach is growling. Hmm, hmm, it's time for me to eat. Catching a pig is quite a feat. Whenever I chase, they run away. And all I want is piggy souffle. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. I can't understand it. This house won't budge. I'm a 
must be some other way to get that pig. I can't huff another puff. Little pig? <laughs> do you, you like turnips? Why, yes. Why do you ask? I could show you a garden in Misty Meadows filled with turnips. It's a date. Tomorrow at 7. The next day, that smart little pig got up at 6 o'clock to pick turnips and hurried home with a basket full. Wake up, pig! It's 7 o'clock! You ready to go? I thought you said 6 o'clock. I've already picked my turnips. <sighs> Quite all right, pig. I must think of another plan. <clears throat> Gilbert, my boy! You like apples? Apples? Oh, I love apples. Well, in that case, tomorrow at 6 o'clock, I'll take you to the orchard at Windy Hill. See you then. But clever Gilbert got up at 5 o'clock, ran to Windy Hill, and climbed an apple tree. These are great apples. Just a few more and... Uh-oh! I see the wolf coming. Hello, Mr. Pig! I see you got an early start again. But I caught up with you. Now, what do you think of those apples? Delicious. Have one. Catch. Hey, you throw it too hard. Oop, oop, oop. Yippee, he fell for it. <sighs> How could I chase a silly apple when I could have had a fat little pig? The next day, grouching down the lane, came... Three days without pork chops. Mmm, mmm, I simply have to eat. I've been patient, and I've been sweet, but today that pig will be my feast, because I'm a wily, fearsome beast. Gilbert, old buddy. <laughs> Let's be friends. Let's go to the county fair tomorrow. Sounds like fun. I'll meet you at 3 o'clock. Got it straight? Gotcha. So naturally, at two o'clock, Gilbert arrived at the fair. I'd like this butter churn for my farm. Oh no, it's three o'clock. I know what I'll do. I'll jump in my butter churn and roll down the hill right to the door of my house. Hey, what's that? Ah! Look out, wolf! I'm safe. That sneaky, tricky little pig. I could have gotten hurt. All right. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. You hear me, pig? I'm going to climb up out of your roof. I'm coming right down your chimney. You hear me? I'm going to eat you in one bite. In that case, I'll pop the lid off this pot to give you a warm welcome. Goodbye, Wolf. You needn't return the pot. Ha <laughs> ha, that should be the end of Mr. Wolf. I hope. Who's there? It's us! Please, Gilbert, can we stay here? The big bad wolf chased us into the deep, dark woods. Ha, <laughs> don't worry. You won't hear from him again. Oh, boy! We, we can, can start, start our careers! careers. We're not afraid of the big bad wolf. We're not afraid of the big bad wolf. We're not afraid of the big bad wolf. He can't scare us at all. We'll get some water boiling hot and pop him in our cooking pot. We're not afraid of the big bad wolf if he should come to call.